Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I hear you. So uh, events that from my childhood that shaped me the most might be the, the divorce of my parents, uh, for sure. Uh, there, there are plenty of events that actually shaped me, but this one was the, the beginning of something because uh, I guess we, we moved a lot from city to city with my mom and uh, uh, it, it was kind of a hard time and, uh, and drawing was at, at this time was a really uh, uh, something important for me it became like a, a second home uh, at a time where I was uh, looking for um, something to, to escape essentially and uh, drawing was a uh, was big part of that and uh, maybe that's how uh, I finished I became an artist I've always drawn in a way and it's, it's a big part of my life and um, um, I, I picked a, a graphic design career after school and uh, I really enjoyed for a time like uh, creating stuff and images for for clients, for, uh, for companies and everything but uh, at some point I, I got really frustrated and, uh, and I really needed to to express myself, to, 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 to put my creativity, my creativity in some more personal things and uh, well that's maybe the, 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 the thing that I needed to do things for myself and not for just uh, advertising which I kind of despise now <laughs> and uh, I, I, I needed some things to be more authentic, more more in line with who I am and um, well art was uh, really a, a necessity for me. It depends a lot on what you call art actually uh, since I've, I've been doing some drawings since forever basically but um, the, the first big piece and which took me a lot of time like I, I worked for three years on this is the Tarot de Set uh, which was a uh, uh, first an, an, a painting exhibition with uh, um, the major arcanas from the the Tarot de Marseille uh, which I reinterpreted with the uh, culture of my city, well it's a little town on the Mediterranean Sea and um, well this one was very personal, personal. I, I put a lot of, of work and of research especially on uh, on all the symbolic uh, of, uh, of, of everything that, uh, that already existed in the, the Tarot de Marseille and uh, how to kind of translate it and be faithful to the original material and um, yeah this, this this particular piece of work was uh, uh, really a, a, a big project for me. Well, the, the most recent art I, I created was uh, Endless Rain. It's a, um, I, I, I wouldn't say long form, but it's a, it's a generative series on, uh, on FX hash. Uh, it's um, an, an animated piece, um, uh, fully generative, so like you can run the piece for forever, basically. <laughs> it just generates rain uh, over and over again, and uh, the, the basic, basic concept is uh, like drawing um, a cityscape or some buildings but uh, only with the, 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 the movement of the, the, the raindrops falling on the roofs and um, everything is black on black except the, the, the raindrops and uh, it creates a really I don't know, some, some people say it's soothing or uh, really a, a bit moody too and uh, just uh, watching this was kind of mesmerizing to me and um, and uh, I really enjoyed doing this on, on FX Hash and it sold out pretty quickly. I, I was very happy with that. Okay, so my, my biggest success in life is really, it's a, it's a tough question, <laughs> but maybe I'd say, um, I, I'd say uh, like a, 
a few years back, it's not 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 a long time ago. Uh, I I stopped hating hating myself, <laughs> and I stopped judging myself. And uh, well, that's something that was really important to me. That changed a lot a lot of things in my life. Like um, it, it's really hard to 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 love oneself, but just uh, just be kind to yourself is really something something that can help uh, a lot in life and uh, and and what it's it's it, ha- it does help me stop fearing stuff and like just going and and doing what i like and daring to to do what i like and well that that's that's kind of a success <laughs> The biggest, uh, it's also a, a tough question to answer. What is the, the biggest failure in life? Um, again, it won't be a, it won't be a single time uh, I failed, but uh, I'd say more generally, it's like I, I feel I I fail in life whenever I I'm not exactly uh, feeling present where I am. I'm not sure I'm putting this right, but um, it's really important to me to like when i'm with someone uh being completely with with this person and uh, being completely engaged in the time we spend together and not thinking about anything else not like scrolling my smartphone or anything and um i think it's really hard particularly in those days uh there's so much going on and um always uh, i always have notifications on my phone and and everything uh, being really really here where you are is uh, maybe the, the hardest thing and uh, uh, when I fail to do so um, that's I think the, the biggest fails of my life so if, if I could give one one piece of advice um, well, first, I'd say, uh, who am I to give advice to people? You know, I'm not sure I've succeeded at something, and I'm just doing my thing. And um, maybe the well, the, the most important thing is um, don't listen to people telling you what you should do in life. Um, if you want to do something, just just commit to it, and uh, and that, that that can work if you're if you're truly um, um, I don't know if you're truly working uh, on achieving something. It could take time, take time, but uh, it's it's always worth it trying and and relentlessly trying. <laughs> and maybe just a, a, a second thing, which which well I. I took a lot of time to to understand and and to apply that. Mostly, I, I understood that, but I, I took me some time to apply it. Really, is a uh, don't be afraid to to talk to anyone. Like you, you need to talk to people who, especially people who do things you like, things that inspire you. Just just it's easy now with uh, Twitter and everything. Just talk to people, and, uh, and good things come out of of. Yes, just talking to people, networking, uh, some would say in the professional world, but just talking to people is uh, the most important thing.